For this tutorial, I chose to use my daughter Eloise as my subject. She is rather photogenic and was a very willing participant. To begin this process, you will need to first use a photocopy machine to photocopy a face. It may take a few tries to get a good image, so be patient. Once you have your chosen photocopy, put graphite all over the back of your copy. It will take quite a bit of graphite. Then tape your photocopy to your drawing paper and using a ballpoint pen, go over the main details of your portrait to transfer your image onto the drawing paper. You may want to flip up the photocopy periodically to make sure the transfer process is working. After you've transferred your image, remove the tape and set your photo aside to use as a reference while you begin the shading portion. The goal is to closely match the values you see in your photocopy. So we will be using charcoal pencils, a blender, vine charcoal, and compressed charcoal. I'm right-handed, so I find it easiest to work from left to right in a charcoal drawing to help prevent smudging. As you add the shading, pay attention to what is happening in your photocopy so you can best try to replicate the values that you see. Continue working in this manner throughout your drawing. The blender as well as an eraser can be a great tool to assist in your drawing. Charcoal can erase and using the eraser in a subtractive way will enhance your drawing. Charcoal is incredibly messy. A little trick that can help keep your drawing from smudging is to place a piece of paper under the hand you use to draw with while you, you work on your drawing. Once you've finished with your art, use a piece of paper and an eraser to clean up your border edge. Always remember to sign your art when you finish. Lastly, it is a good idea to spray charcoal drawings with a fixative to prevent further smudges. down on the, touch your cheek to it on the top. Yep, like that.